Let's do some fractions. Fractions are your friends, but sometimes your frenemies. Okay, four over five, four over six, and let's just go ahead and add them together, right? Hi, I'm Sarah. I've been a STEM teacher for 20 years, and I like to make math engaging and fun and not so scary for everyone, all ages. Uh, I do private tutoring and mini lessons and things like that. If you need more information or you want to reach out about tutoring and setting it up in person or Zoom, click the link and do the stuff. So four over five plus four over six. More than likely, you wouldn't be given this four over six. You would be given two over three. You could simplify it now, but I'm just going to kind of jump right in because whether you simplify first or simplify last, it doesn't make a difference in what you end up with at the solution. Sure, you might be dealing with bigger numbers, but ultimately it's okay. It's all fine. I know people are going to be upset that I'm not simplifying this first, but eh, I don't want to. I've gone through and I've talked about like crisscross applesauce being just a shortcut for adding and subtracting fractions. It's a shortcut because what you need to do is you need to make sure they have the common denominator, right? So you want to make, so a fifth and a sixth, they're different size pieces of a pie, right? So they're different size pieces. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're talking about like all the pieces kind of being the same thing or all the pieces being the same size. Easiest way to do this. Yes, you can find the least common multiple, least, yeah, least common multiple. So for the, for the common denominator. But what you can also do is you can just multiply them together. So I can multiply these together and I get five times six is 30. They're both going to be 30 on the bottom. So to go four fifths, to something over 30. I want to look at the pattern, right? So I see five times six is 30. So I need to do four times six, which is 24. So to go from four six to 30, six times five is 30. Four times five is 20. Okay, so I'm just converting them into being the same size, the same size as each other. All right, so now all I need to do is I've got 30 and 30. These are just going to add together. So 24, so I can even write this as 24 plus 20 over 30. 24 plus 20 is 44 over 30. Okay, so now we've got this improper fraction. Again, I could simplify here, but I like simplifying last. It's not wrong, it's just different. So 30 into 44 goes one whole time, and then I'm left over with 14 over 30. 14 and 30 are both divisible by 2. So I can simplify this to one. It doesn't change anything about the big number. Seven fifteenths. Crisscross applesauce is just a shortcut. So crisscross applesauce is where you just don't need to write this step out. Okay. You do criss. Six times four gives you 24. Cross. Five times four gives you 20. And then applesauce is 30 on the bottom. So again, just a shortcut. You just cut out that piece of writing out both of the equivalent fractions. It saves a little bit of time. And sometimes it's a little bit easier to add or subtract in your head like that. That's mapped up. 